Okay, so part three says write the next two terms for each sequence and write the recursive and explicit formula. So by the way, there's a little typo here. We're still doing uh, sequences, so this should all say formulas here. Can you just be okay with that? <clears throat> Sorry about the typo. I'm going to explain later this week when we're in class um, when we move to functions instead of sequences. But right now, with sequences, these are all recursive and explicit formulas, not functions yet. So starting at 89, going down to 72, going down to 55, going down to 38. Let's go subtract and see what this is going down by. So 89. I don't know where this thing came from. Okay, sorry. So 89 minus 72 is a jump of down of 17. So we're going to be subtracting 17 from each step. So check this out. Um, 38 minus 17 is going to give us 27. And then 27 minus 17 is going to give us 10. If you're not sure, feel free to use a calculator at each of those steps. Okay, now that we continue the pattern, now that we know the common difference is going down by 17, let's go write the recursive. We're going to say f of 1 equals 89. Remember that we assume step 1 in sequences unless we're told otherwise. And then f of n equals f of n minus 1 minus 17 for that recursive. Now the explicit begins with 89, subtracting 17 every time to that n minus 1. Remember that this is a big n minus 1 product because we're just subtracting. This is an arithmetic sequence. Now something new that we're adding to this worksheet is the plug-in of the 760th term. That means we're going to use this explicit, you do not use the recursive, you use the explicit, to plug in 760 and see what would the output be at the 760th term. So we're going to say f of 760 is equal to 89 minus 17 parentheses Right here you're plugging in that 760 minus 1. So we're actually giving the input of 760 and seeing what the output would be. So in our calculator we're going to go 89 minus 17 times 759. So 759 times 17 is 12903. So we're going to go 89 minus 12903. And that gives us negative. 12814. We just got the output for f of 760. So this additional step that we're doing now on this worksheet compared to last week is we're being given an input to use our explicit to find an output. And the reason we want an explicit function is so that we have a shortcut to get to the 760th term. I definitely don't want to make a table out to 760, so that's why we have it. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and try part B, and let's see what happens. Okay, let's see how you did. So from 6 to 7.5, from 7.5 to 9, from 9 to 7.5, are you seeing that jump of 1.5? If not, grab a calculator and subtract those and see it. So adding 1.5 makes this 12. Oops, let's go back to red. Actually, let's use purple. And then 12 plus 1.5 is 13.5. Okay, let's go write the recursive for it. f of 1 
equals 6, f of n equals f of n minus 1 plus 1.5. How'd you do on that one? Next for our explicit, we begin with 6, adding 1.5 every time, parentheses n minus time 1. Remember that this time 1 comes from the first step in the sequence. Now we're being asked to plug in 2015 as our input. So we're going to go f of, so it begins with 6 plus 1.5, and we're plugging in 2015. Okay. So plugging that in, we're going to get 6 plus 1.5 times 2014. When we subtract, we do the parentheses first. Let's go do 1.5 times 2014. And we're getting 3021. So that gives us our final result of 3027 when we add 6. So the function f of 2015 yields an output, output of 3027. How'd you do plugging that in? Okay, going to this next one, we're going from 1 50th to negative 1 5th to 2 to 20. Are you seeing that we are multiplying, see how it's getting bigger, by 10, like 2 times 10 makes 20, but it's also got that alternating negative, so we're multiplying by a negative 10. I'm going to go pink this time. So negative 20 times a negative 10, that's going to give us positive 200. Positive 200 times a negative 10. We're basically just adding a zero each time, right? And then the alternating sign, positive, negative, positive, negative. Let's go write the recursive. f of 1 equals 1 50th. f of n equals f of n minus 1 times negative 10. Okay, so for the explicit, we say begins with 1 50th, multiplying by negative 10 to the power of the exponent n minus 1, because this one is multiplying. So this time they're having us plug in a 10, the 10th term. So it begins with 1 50th, multiplying by negative 10 to the power of 10 minus 1. One fiftieth times negative ten to the power of nine. So I'm going to go plug this into Desmos right now. One fiftieth times negative ten to the power of nine. One divided by fifty. Do you see how that gives me the fraction? Times negative ten. And then right here, there's this little tiny a to the power of b button that we use to get us to that exponent of 9. Negative 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. Now remember we knew that with every step it was just adding a zero, so that makes sense. I notice it's got a negative, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that looks like 20 billion. That's our f of 10. Okay, last one here goes from 16 to 24, from 24 to 36, and from 36 to 54. And there's not anything, um, let's first go see if it's an arithmetic, if it's adding the same number. So 24 minus 16, 
Sorry, I keep doing this. 24 minus 16. Let's see if that gives us the same number as 36 minus 24. And notice it's not arithmetic. It's not yielding the same uh, common difference. So we've got to be multiplying by something. Let's go test it out. Let's do, how do we find what the multiplier is? We divide. Let's do 24 divided by 16. And then that gives us 1.5. Let's test out the other one. Let's do 24 divided by 36. And that, oops, I did it the wrong way, sorry. Let's do 36 divided by 24. And that's also 1.5. So what we're seeing here, of course you can use a decimal multiplier, but I prefer the fraction. We're actually going to use the fraction of 3 halves as our multiplier. So taking the 54, how would I get that next term? You're going to do 54 times 3 first, top times top, and then divide what you get by 2. So grab your little calculator real quick and let's do that. 54 times 3 is 162 divided by 2. That's giving me 81. Then we take the 81 times 3 and divide that by 2, and I get 121.5. So I'm going to test it out one more time. 54 times 3 divided by 2. Yep, 81 times 3 divided by 2. Yep, 121.5. Okay, good. So let's go write that recursive. F of 1 equals 16. F of n equals f of n minus 1 times 3 halves. f of n begins with 16 multiplying by 3 halves to the power of n minus 1. There's our explicit. Now last but not least, they want us to plug in here to the 13th term, so f of 13 begins at 16, multiplying by 3 halves to the 13 minus 1. So that's going to be plugging into Desmos 16 times 3 halves to the power of 12. Let's go see what Desmos gives us for this. So to get the 3 halves, we divide by 2, and then this little a to the b makes it go up into the exponent. And because it was the 13th term, 13 minus 1 is power of 12. So this yields 2075.94 as my answer. 2, I'm going to write approximately 2075.94 as my answer. Okay. And that was our f of 13. So for this section right here, how were you on the recursives? How were you on the explicits? And how were you on the plugging in? Which of those parts do you need practice on? Are you starting to feel more solid on certain parts? Again, this is just review week to get us ready for our Math 2 content.